All right. Headphones off. Oh. Hello, YouTube. I am Helios5868, or at least my username is. And I just watched the Vlogbrothers video on religion. So yeah, um, I recommend you watch it. I'll post this as a video description if I figure out how to, which might be a little difficult seeing as how this is my first YouTube video. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyways, so basically John hit the nail on the head for a lot of what I've been thinking about religion over the years. Um, you know, what's the point of, you know, dealing with this, what's the point of arguing about whether there's a god or not? You know, we're gonna find out, and it, it's just a distraction from what's important. However, that question has led, basically, to me concluding that religion is pointless. I mean, you know, why are you trying to come, you know, it's, it's actually not even that, um, why are people claiming to have, you know, answers to the, to the divine when they clearly, they don't have the answers? I mean, if, if Christianity understood the divine, then wherefore Judaism, wherefore, uh, Islam, why did other religions exist when, you know, Christianity is the answer? It's because Christianity isn't the answer. Well, at least not the only answer. Because, you know, it's incomplete. I mean, like, um, if you have, you know, it's the same thing that's plaguing physics right now. I mean, you have, you have relativity. Why do you need quantum mechanics? Because physics is not complete. And the fact that those two fields are completely different fields, and you can't use them interchangeably, proves that point. Likewise, you can't use Christianity, Judaism, and Islam interchangeably. Hence, they're incomplete. And, you know, that's just a simple fact of nature as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you know, it's not something that I'm really open to hearing because every time I hear people talk about it, um, talk about, like, how well Christianity is the answer, I become even more convinced that they're talking out their ass. So, yeah. Um, at the same time, John's right in that regard, but at the same time, there's a big problem. You see, he's talking about it just as a, does God exist, as a debate. Like, you know, debating whether God exists. The problem is, there's baggage that goes along, particularly with the Judeo-Christian religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. There's baggage that goes along with it. And that baggage is a lot of social implications, like abortion and being opposed to gay marriage. There's baggage that goes along with that, and that changes everything. That changes everything. Because if your religion carries that kind of baggage, you need to be opposed. Like, if you are, if your religion is like, basing assertions that affect people on their daily lives, if they're asserting things that affect people on a daily basis, you know, and, and people believe this, you know, those religions need to be confronted. And that's pretty important to debate. And if you look in my subscription box, you see people like uh, Richard Coughlin, uh, the Amazing Atheist, not so much a religious commentator anymore, but um, the thinking atheist, uh, ZJEMPTV. You know, I have these subscriptions and I'm interested in this because, frankly, you know, this is not an issue you can just run away from. There's baggage that goes along with a lot of religion. And that baggage forces a lot of debate. You know, why are, why are people like Richard Coughlin engaging Christianity. Well, it's because Christianity does not exist in a vacuum. You know, it'd be one thing if it was, you know, an interpretation of the world and it's like, yeah, that's stupid. That's one thing, but 
on the other hand, you know, it's doing a bunch more things. The instant Christianity starts affecting who I can marry, you know, what, like, my wife in the future can have a, an abortion, the instant that starts happening, that's when it's no longer a religion. It's a philosophy. You know, that, that's, I'm, I'm kind of describing this roughly, but, you know, that's the point where you cross a line, and, you know, your tolerance of religion goes, okay, not so much. Once it starts confronting me, I have to confront it. You know, with matters of this kind, you know, it's one thing to have your own private beliefs. Completely respect it. It's another thing to force those beliefs on me. And when you legislate based on religion, you do just that. And I have a major problem with that. And, you know, if a religion does that, I'm going to engage it. And I'm not going to engage it friendly. I'm going to be hostile. I'm going to be a little mean. Because I have to be. Look. Look, I mean, at, there's a, a point where respect just ends. And that's where respect ends, really. If you're not respecting my life, my ability to live as I choose, then I'm not respecting the beliefs that you hold that contribute to that. It's that simple. Be it, be it fascism, uh, be it whatever beliefs lead to that. Um, be it religion based or politically based, I don't care. So, what I'm trying to get at is, you know, philosophy, theology, that's one thing. The instant that starts entering social, social, economic, cultural issues, that stops being religion. It, it's not anymore. I can't accept it as religion. And, you know, I understand, uh, John, your call to peace on this, but the fact of the matter is, there can't be peace while people are intruding into each other's business, while uh, people's business is, businesses are getting intruded upon. There can't be, really, any tolerance. Not for people who are doing that. You can't tolerate someone stealing your freedom. It's, it's really that simple. You ha you've got to stand up for your own rights in that um, sense. And that's why I sort of understand your whole theological perspective, but at the same time, you know, there's a point where that just ends, where it's not so much a matter of, you know, let people do as they please, and it's, a, and it's, you know, a matter of you have to, um, your beliefs are just unacceptable because they are intruding upon my ability to live. So, anyways, my two cents. Sorry for the stuttering, but I stutter, and I didn't have a script. I'm just doing this on a whim, and yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good something, whatever, day, morning, night, evening, whatever. See ya.